In this video, we're going to continue our discussion of developmental psychology by learning about theory of mind and the Sally-Ann test. Theory of mind has been a hotly debated topic within the field of developmental psychology for a very long time. Even the definition of theory of mind, what we mean when we use the term, has been up for debate. So here's the definition that I'm working with. Theory of mind is the ability to reason about what other people know or believe. And as a consequence, it's the understanding that other people can have different thoughts or preferences than we do. Now, the way we traditionally test theory of mind in children is by using false belief tasks, where we essentially assess whether a child understands that other people can hold a false belief even when they know the, what the true reality of the world is. Now, let me give you one example of a very famous false belief task known as the Sally-Ann test. I'm going to walk you through it just as I would with a child. All right, so this is Sally, and this is Anne. Sally has a basket, and Anne has a box. Sally has a ball. She puts the ball into her basket. Sally goes out for a walk. Anne takes the ball out of the basket and puts it into the box. Now Sally comes back. She wants to play with her ball. And here's the key question. Where will Sally look for her ball? Well, hopefully you as an adult who has theory of mind knows that Sally should look for her ball where she left it last, where she last saw it, which is the basket. So the correct answer here, if you have adult-like thinking, is to say that Sally should look for her ball in the basket. Now, you and I know that the ball is currently in the box. Anne knows that the ball is currently in the box. And Sally has a false belief that the ball is in the basket, so that's where she'll look. So that's the correct answer, but how do children respond? Here are the typical results of this task. At age four, children succeed. They point to the basket. They say that Sally should look in the basket because that's where she last saw it. They know that Sally is incorrect in her belief, but she, they understand that she has that belief. Now, at younger ages, at ages three and, and lower, uh, children fail. They point to the box. They say that Sally will look in the box because they know that's where the ball is. So they believe mistakenly that that's where Sally also knows that the ball is there. Um, but as we saw with the Piagetian tasks, task demands are an issue here, meaning there's a lot going on in this study. There's a lot going on in this situation. There's at least five different key people and objects to pay attention to. People are leaving the scene and coming back into the scene. The object is moving locations. There's just a lot going on. So there's a lot to ask of the child. They have to keep track of everything in the story, and then they have to respond to your question. They have to point to the basket or the box. They have to make a decision. So what we see is that as before, we may superficially be hiding a deep level of understanding in children. It's possible that children do understand theory of mind at a younger age. They do have that ability, um, but maybe we're masking it with task demands. And so in comes the violation of expectation method, as we saw before when talking about object permanence. So when children as young as six months of age, again, not four years of age, when they succeeded before in the older task, now we're talking about six months of age. When six-month-olds simply watch the Sally Ann test, they reveal an understanding of theory of mind. They're surprised. They look longer when Sally searches for her ball in the box, right? They're surprised when Sally reveals her actions reveal an understanding that she should not have. But they're not surprised. They don't stare. They don't look very long at all. They get bored. It's not interesting when Sally searches for her ball in the basket. Again, using the violation of expectation paradigm, we reveal that Sally, uh, excuse me, that children uh, who might be named Sally or might not be named Sally, I don't know, children understand theory of mind. They understand that other people can have different thoughts and preferences and beliefs than they do as young as six months of age and possibly sooner.